Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be looking at the Air Max 95 Kim Jones collab in the bright neon orange. Let's take a close, quick sneak peek. <laughs> Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to smash that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below as well as hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well as be sure to check out our membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there for our members as well as our merch store. Be sure to check out those items we have uploaded to that space. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we are gonna be looking at none other than the Air Max 95 collab that was done with Kim Jones in the bright orange colorway. There was a second colorway that came out. I decided to go with the orange this time around, but it did come also in that Volt colorway. So starting off, we are going to go through the overview of this shoe, followed by the size and the fit. You guys already know this is my first time doing an Air Max 95 on the channel, so I'm very excited to discuss this and talk about sizing and fit. Then we're going to follow that up with the styling section and conclude with how you're doing on the resale market. So let's jump into it. As you guys know, the last Kim Jones Nike collab that I did a video on was the Air Dior's. So that was a very exciting shoe, an exciting moment for me to be able to create amazing content around that specific shoe, which was by far my top favorite shoe of last year. Uh, this year, I was very excited to be able to pick up this as I am a huge Kim Jones fan. So yes, I don't need a pair of Dior's necessarily to be a supporter of Kim Jones. He is known to bring streetwear, luxury sneakers all together when he does his collaborations. So I was very excited to see pictures of this when they were leaked. And now I'm excited to just have it in hand. We're going to go through and just kind of talk about the qualities and textures on this specific shoe and how he took this Air Max 95 in a different direction by really bringing that luxury quality that we know Kim Jones so well for. As you guys have probably seen, I love mixing a lot of Dior pieces into my clothing looks, um, but definitely this is a high quality shoe and you can even feel it in the weight of the shoe. This is heavier than any of the Air Max 95s I've ever felt before, so it definitely has a bit more weight to it. We'll We'll start up on the toe box here and the nice thing about this shoe that I like is it's got some nice neutral palettes but that pop of color so we've got this nice kind of neutral light gray tone on front of the toe box with these mini swooshes on the sides of that toe box region as we work our way up into the tongue we've got just a simplistic nice black base and then some nice simplistic black laces then we are going to go and move on to the eye stays, which I think are one of the most vibrant parts of the shoe. So we've got some neck skin materials going on here, and this is a nice kind of wave like pattern in that bright orange pop of color that are kind of webbed and intertwined in there. And the paneling basically that we're seeing here is supposed to be representative of human anatomy. So that's pretty interesting, very intricate and different. Then when we move up to the tongue here, you'll see that we've got some nice reflective uh, colors going on here and that just kind of pop of silver. You can see it in the light kind of shining and reflecting as well as that uh, nice stitching embroidery of the orange all around that oval circle. So let's just take some closer peeks on those details.
All right, so moving on to the side panels, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the shoe because it's got that wave-like texture. Uh, but what's really cool and the details on the medial and lateral side of the shoe is the Morse code-like effect. So we've got just the same kind of Morse code symbols going on with the dashes and the dots and that works its way almost all the way to the back of that heel counter where we've just got this really nicely embroidered swoosh mark and then we see that nice little hint of kim jones branding on the back of that heel in a white and black tone as we work our way back we've then got some nice nike air on the black leather on the back of that heel counter looking on the inside we've got just a black and white insole and then we're just going to finish the shoe off by moving down to the midsole and the air sole units definitely got that bright vibrant pop of that neon orange showing through with just a surrounding white midsole as we work our way to the bottom of the outsole we've got that icy blue translucent coloring scheme going on again with some more pops of that bright orange color scheme on the bottom so let's take a last and final look at the shoe All right, so now let's talk about sizing. I stay true to size. I'm typically a 7.5 in men's and I would recommend just staying true to size in the Air Max 95. It is definitely a very comfortable shoe for me personally. I have high arches and I feel like this definitely really supports those arches very well. Again, if you do have a different type of foot, say a flat foot, this may be differential in the size that works best for you. But in my opinion, definitely stick true to size. These fit me perfectly. All right, so now let's move on to styling. Boy, did I have fun styling these. It was a little bit of a warmer day. So I got to, you know, wear some different clothes. You guys have probably been seeing me in layers. So this was kind of just a fun day to style these. Um, I've been backed up on content, so. Definitely wanted to pump these out a few weeks ago, but uh, hey, here we are today pumping this out for you. So for the first look, I decided to wear my Stussy Nike crew neck in that great color scheme. So as you guys can see, the shoe has just nice gradient like gray schemes going on here. So I really wanted to bring the gray and you know that simple texture to this look. And then I paired that with just a pop of color. So I wore some biker shorts that have kind of this just vibrant neon orange green and yellow theme going on because I really think it pulled quite nicely off of the neon orange in this I gotta hit the beat I gotta hit the beat beat I gotta hit the beat I gotta hit the beat beat I gotta hit the beat I decided to wear some redone baggy jeans with just a nice simple orange tank top that kind of has a nice ruffled effect to it on the sleeves and on the cropped part of the bottom of it. I think different types of oranges will work so well with this. That was kind of a burnt orange look. Let's 
beat and keeps kicking in. Beef with all the girls. Bullshit dripping off the chin. <laughs> Last and final look, I decided to bring in some darker, deeper grays. As you guys know, I love me some black and sometimes dark gray. So that look was kind of a baggy work pant look with a nice Zara cropped knitted uh, tank top. And I think that that dark gray just blended in quite nicely with these. <laughs> anything to the table bro i'm not your son see i'm able i do my own bits limited edition of some missing classic shit i know that you're feeling it feel mad cold nights feel heavy same place going in the heart of the city nitty gritty feels if we end the ice feel shit So now let's conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market. I know a lot of people did not want to go for these because they were higher in price point, but if you think about it, for Kim Jones, this is a steal. I mean, price point wise for Dior's versus a Nike, I mean, this was definitely in a very comfortable price point region since they retailed for $220. And I will say you were definitely, definitely getting a high quality shoe with this Air Max 95. Uh, so currently you could actually get these depending on size a little under retail. So if you weren't able to snag, snag these, I know they did sell out. Uh, they are currently going for resale around 190 to 230. So again, depending on your size, you may be able to actually save a little bit of money on these, or you may just be in that same region of buying these for retail. P.S. Forgot to almost mention this. Be sure to stick around tonight for Shade Selects. And Nick Casos will be on there with me. And we'll be going through all of our picks for this week, as well as we are going to talk about all of our latest pickups of last week. So be sure to tune in to that episode. We'll see you guys later. Thanks so much again for tuning in to another one of my unboxings and reviews. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Be sure to give me any or leave me any comments or questions down below as well as hit that notification bell because we have so much coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well as feel free to check out those membership tiers. We've got some great membership perks on there. So be sure to look at those when you have some time as well as our new merch store. All right, you guys, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next episode.